Hey, Tai here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel and welcome back to the True the Lenses series, the series where we stick a camera in front of the lenses of our VR headsets to see which one is the best, which one is the right for you. Now, this one is gonna be a little particular because this time we're gonna compare the most expensive virtual reality headset on the market, the x AK, with a market price of $8,000, that's right, <laughs> with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Each eye, so full 4K display with custom pancake lenses running at 75 Hz and around 180 degrees FOV, with the king of resolutions so far, the HP Reverb G2 with the resolution 2160 by 2160 each shy, LCD display with RGB pixel arrangement running at 90 Hz, and why not the cheapest of the bunch, the Oculus Quest 2 with a resolution of 1832 by 1920 LCD RGB pixel arrangement running at 90 Hz with Oculus Link, of course. So yeah, we're comparing a $8,000 headset with the $300 headset. Well, that sounds about right. <laughs> but anyway, there's also gonna be very interesting. Of course, here we're comparing two different words. One headset that is made to be uh, pretty much the best on everything, have every technology packed inside. And the other one is uh, mostly for everyone, so like us to buy. And uh, the other one, well, the HP Reverb G2 is just a great headset that I always love. Anyway, I wanna point out two particular things about this video. The first one is that, of course, as always, this is not a science. These lenses, the screens are made for your eyes and not for the lenses of a camera. So take your own conclusions see what you want to see. And the other particular thing is that because it's not a science, the only way to actually find a real sweet spot uh, with these lenses on x you're going to see a lot of blurriness on the right part um, of the video. And well, that is not something that you're going to see in reality, it's just because I wanted to uh, capture the maximum clarity, uh, the points where I want it. So well, I'm gonna zoom in the part that actually matter and not uh, the other parts, of course. So yeah, with that said and all understood, let's go through this uh, amazing comparison uh, without any sense. Let's get into it.
And here, the guys, this was the comparison between the HP Reverb G2, the Quest 2, and the most expensive virtual reality headset on the market, the XTAL AK. Well, I have to say that this video took ages to make because I had different problems, of course, uh, with the XTAL. It was very hard to find a sweet spot because here we're talking about a FOV uh, that is not like the 110 degrees that we usually have in our VR headset, what is a kind of double. That's also why the resolution is much, much higher. So I also had to reshoot it many, many times to actually have the results how I intended, because many times I reshoot it over and over until I have something that satisfies not just me, but gives an idea of what you really see uh, in reality. Uh, always consider this is a crop of a bigger image, of course, and that's why um, you see some screen door effect Sometime, even if reality you will not uh, really see it that much. But the particular thing about this, anyway, is that we are at a point where a solution with the screen door effect is a, a kind of something from the past. I wish I had a way to show you the real FOV of the XTAL. I'm gonna try something for the review that is gonna be soon, by the way, uh, with the 360 camera and see if I have a good result. If not, well, uh, I'm just gonna tell you, wow, that's amazing. Uh, but yeah, um, I have to say though that with the XTAL, everything felt a little weird uh, wearing it. Everything feels a little smaller than what it is. It's just weird that we have good results already with a $300 headset. And well, with this, of course, $8,000 target to adapt another different market, of course. Uh, it's much more resolution also because they have considered, you see uh, more than two times what you see uh, with um, another headset. So even the G2, for example, the uh, resolution is compressed all over there instead here spread out on bigger screens. And the pancake lens is why they keep uh, like the image uh, pretty uh, consistent throughout uh, the FOV. At the same time, uh, they feel a little blurry. Uh, you don't have the same punchiness uh, that we have uh, with the HP Reverb G2, for example, when we are completely in the sweet spot. Uh, so yeah, maybe it's something that you correct by software. I have no idea. I'm in talk with them uh, for other stuff, uh, but yeah. Uh, this was taking longer than expected for many different reasons. Um, that's also why uh, I got so delayed in, uh, in videos from uh, this week. So we have just one now on Thursday. Uh, yeah, oh, whoa, that's a long time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it because it took a really long time and uh, a like would be super appreciated in case. Uh, but let me know what you think about it in the comment below. Uh, do you think that the screen for this example stand up to the $8,000 price? Or you think that, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe it's not. We're gonna, of course, discover more about this headset uh, in just a bit uh, during the review because there are so many things to talk about, uh, like the virtual link connection that is awesome. You connect everything with just one cable, uh, the foveated rendering, uh, the eye tracking, the automatic IPD adjustment. It, it's just so much stuff packed in it, and you can see also from the size. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's all the story from another video. So for now, that's all. As always, if you like the video, like, please do. If you didn't like the video, just like, subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And if you really love the channel, the join button down there, a little down further, the description, also the Patreon. Thanks to all the patrons, of course. Um, they have prior access to videos, like they had the preview, preview of this video already. And we also have the, in the description, t-shirt, sticker, and mask. So well, check them out, really up the channel. And for now, that's all again. So like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.